What's up guys, it's Travis and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am yet, then that is totally okay because I'm just some random dude on the internet that loves talking crypto. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a coin that I'm personally very excited about, and this coin is called Engine. And so if you guys get value from today's video or you just find it entertaining, then please make sure to leave that thumbs up button down below. Guys, it seriously helps out the channel so much, and I thank you all so much for doing that. Also, make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this in the future. Let's jump right into it. Heading on over to CoinGecko, let's take a look at the engine price. Right now, engine's price is sitting at $1.83, with its total market cap sitting at $1.7 billion. Its circulating supply is 934 million tokens, and the total supply is 1 billion tokens. All right, so heading right over to the 180 day, it looks like Engine is trying to make this cup and handle formation, and it might be coming back up pretty soon to be testing these all time highs. Now, it's very important to realize that when you're investing in altcoins, you need to be looking at the entire market because when Bitcoin dumps, everything else dumps. And we saw this dump just a few days ago when Bitcoin dumped from roughly 52,000 down to 42,000 in about an hour. All on the news of El Salvador accepting Bitcoin as legal tender. Now, if we come on over to the one year and take a look at Engine's price, you guys can see that back in December, Engine was priced at roughly 15 cents per coin and it got all the way up to over $3, almost $3.50. That's a little over a 23X in, what is that, six months? So if you put $1,000 into it back in December and waited only a few months until April, that portfolio would have gone from $1,000 to over $23,000. Guys, that is a tremendous amount of growth and it's only natural when you have this amount of growth in any token that there's some sort of pullback. And so that's what we had here from $3.50 all the way back down to roughly a dollar price. So ever since then, we've just slowly been grinding back up and I do think that we might see a retest of these previous all time highs around $3. Now, I'm not saying that this is the most opportune time to buy back into Engine, because if we're being honest with ourselves, even though we're down quite a ways from previous all time highs, we're still up over 12X from where we were last December. So just keep that in mind when you're buying altcoins like this, if they're still pumped up this high, there's a lot of room to fall from here. Anyways, now that we've taken a look at Engine's price, its market cap, and its total supply of tokens, I wanna bring you guys over to the white paper now and show you guys what it is that Engine's trying to provide. All right, so what is Engine? Well, Engine Coin is an Ethereum token that aims to make it easy for individuals, businesses, and brands to use NFTs. Engine is used directly to back the value of NFTs minted within the Engine ecosystem. Engine is aiming to develop tools that enable game publishers, game servers, and communities to manage virtual goods and in-game items across multiple platforms. Now, this market data is a little outdated, but I think it's important to realize that we just had the Rony Rona happen. And so a lot of people are staying home. A lot of people, a lot more people than we probably realize are playing video games right now. So these numbers are probably a lot higher than what expectations were back when this white paper was written. So the global gaming market is experiencing explosive growth, no duh reaching $108 billion in 2017 and a projected $128 billion by 2020. Engine is headquartered in Singapore, providing the perfect springboard to further target the Chinese, Japanese, and Korean markets, which made up 58% of the growth from 2016. And then we have a list of some of the platform features. Now, because Engine was built on the Ethereum network, there were questions about speed and transaction costs. As a standard block time may impose some delays, we will achieve a modern responsive experience by using off-chain notifications. Trusted platforms will send an instant notification to the user's smart wallet for each transaction request. So the game or the website can be then updated immediately with a placeholder item or non-tradable version of the asset until enough confirmations are reached to allow full ownership of the item. So here's something that's interesting about the engine project. Games and communities can mint unique in-game items, currencies, and privilege tokens using engine coins as the parent currency. These assets can be converted back into engine coins by anyone holding them. 
at the original exchange rate which they were minted. And so this is really cool and kind of reminds me back when we were kids and you, if you ever played with Play-Doh, this kind of has the same concept. So the engine token or the Play-Doh that you're starting off with is what you use to create these other tokens that other games can then mint. These tokens have been minted and can be used by those games. But if the user of those games or those tokens no longer want to use them, that user can then melt those tokens down back into its original form, the engine token. So like we were saying, if you're playing with Play-Doh, you put it through its press machine, it comes out in this new shape that you can use and play with until you no longer want that, you can mold it back into its original form of Play-Doh and put it all back together. So that's essentially what's happening here is you're taking the Play-Doh, you're taking the engine, you're creating something with it, and if you ever want to use that to create something else, you can then melt that back down into its original product in this case, the engine token. So not only has engine created its own token and its own use case, it's also created its own wallet. Engine wallets provide an interface to exchange custom coins back to engine coins. This is what we were just talking about. These coins that were contained in the mint contract. This provides liquidity and the option of backing custom assets with a known engine value. Economically, any custom asset created with engine will decrease the number of engine in circulation preserving and increasing the value of engine tokens throughout its ecosystem over the long term. So the more engine tokens that are getting locked up in order to create these NFTs or these in-game products, the less engine tokens that will be out on the market. In theory, this is creating a deflationary model for the engine token because there will be less and less engine token to use on the open market. These custom coins that gain their own intrinsic value inside the gaming ecosystem will be held and traded further by the community, while others can be traded back to regain their original engine coin value, giving all users equal liquidity. This same mechanism used for minting custom coins may be used to represent unique game items. In this scenario, engine could be used to mint one or more custom coins representing a game item that has value tied to it. Using decentralized assets allows gamers to trade with each other outside of the game environment. That sword or that item that you purchased is stuck in that game and it's not really yours. It really has no value. You just spent money in order to have that token that you can't even take off the game. Now imagine you're actually able to take that off of the game and use it in other games or show it off to your friends or trade it with other people and this is what Engine is providing to us as its users. Now the last thing that I want to talk about here is the engine smart wallet. Building on an existing light wallet design, the engine wallet streamlines the user experience further by integrating with games and websites that the user trusts. We call this a smart wallet because of the multiple pieces of functionality that work together to simplify the user's experience. Now something else that I want to add here is that instead of copying and pasting addresses like we do when we're sending coins from one wallet to the other. The engine wallet actually has a really unique feature I believe is called the beam that you can actually send NFTs or these items from one wallet to the other just by scanning a QR code. So instead of forcing users to copy and paste account addresses or receive risky web injected transaction commands, each trusted platform will send a transaction request to the wallet. The user will then be prompted with some useful information about the transaction and can then accept or deny with a single click. This creates a clean and seamless user experience and prevents the confusion and uncertainty typically associated with blockchain wallets. So just taking a glimpse at this, we have these different items here and they have their titles. This is what they're called and the value of each item in engine tokens. So we can have our NFTs in the wallet and we can also melt these down back into engine tokens if we wanted to, essentially burning these items. Let's head on over to their website. So here it is, it's just super clean, very simple, and here's how it works. The engine coin is infused into NFTs through a process called minting. This process can be reversed. Every NFT can be melted back into engine coin. Engine coin has real life value, meaning that all NFTs created with it have real life value too. Currently, engine price is sitting at $1.79. These NFTs exist on the blockchain, which makes them powerful. For example, your entire gaming inventory can be in your phone, featuring a sword you can use in multiple games, which you can easily sell to anyone at any time. 
We believe virtual worlds of tomorrow will evolve into an interconnected digital reality. More than simulations, these new realms will empower us to create real world value while having fun. That's why we do what we do. We make it easier for you to create and experience the digital realities of the future. We have the wallet I just shared with you guys, the marketplace I'm going to show you guys in just a second, eFinity, which allows us to transfer NFTs from one blockchain to the other. This is built on top of the Polkadot ecosystem, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to be talking more about eFinity in an upcoming video, but this is really interesting because instead of having these NFTs or these items locked on just one blockchain, this allows you to use your NFTs on any blockchain. We also have the jump net and we have Beam, which is what I was just talking to you guys about how you can actually just scan a QR code and send your NFT from one wallet to the other without having to copy and paste addresses and then send them to other wallets. Here's the marketplace right now for Engine. Very simple, very easy to look at. Currently they have almost 20,000 items for sale. And I just think that this is really cool that users or players can actually buy and sell these items to other players that may want to purchase them. These items may be very important to some users because they might be able to unlock certain features of certain games, or they might be able to sell those items down for the engine token. And it comes in many different forms. So that's pretty much all I've got for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're able to get some sort of value. If you did, then please make sure to leave that thumbs up button down below. Guys, that helps out so much and I really appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys think of the engine token and some of the other projects that they're bringing to engine. As always, if you guys wanna see more content like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna make sure that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. But that's all I've got for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, I am Travis Trades and I'll be seeing you guys very soon in the upcoming episode. Take it easy, guys.